going on everybody i'm going to do an instructional video uh for a rear speed sensor setup um got this car here um gonna be working on zeus from zeus auto stock uh he has a rear disc setup so i'm gonna show you guys how to install and properly wire the speed sensor and the settings um a lot of people have been uh messaging me you know, when it comes to settings on, you know, per se an AEM versus a fuel tech versus a Honda uh, S300. So I'll break it all down. Um, for the most part, uh, if you're running a Honda, you would run uh, the four pickups. So in other words, you'd pick up from the four lug nuts on the back of the car. Um, ABS, Honda won't give us provisions to change anything when it comes down to using an ABS sensor for more resolution. Um, but it's all right. I mean... It's still going to work. It's still going to give you mile per hour, and that's all you need. Um, so I'm going to break it all down. Uh, I'm going to get the, the brake rotors off. You guys don't need to watch me do that. Uh, I'll get that all off, and then I'll, I'll come back and uh, add some more info to the install. Thank you. All right, so back to the rear disc uh, lug nut setup. This car's on Honda. Uh, I pretty much drilled and tapped these because they weren't there before so um you know the brackets set up you can go side to side or you can go up and down to give you enough clearance these are the new brackets that just came out um basically that's it without the sensor in place so i'm going to set up the sensor and i'm going to get right back to you so easy enough just take the brakes apart it's going to be on the opposite side of the caliper it's another thing people have been asking you know what side is it on and um, this one uh, did not have the access hole in the dust cover. So we just pretty much took the dust cover off. This is a race car. It doesn't see any street use. Um, you can drill a hole, I mean, pretty much right in that section through the dust cover if you need to have it. This car it wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't um, a deal breaker if we didn't have it. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put the sensor in place. I'm going to run the wire and show you guys how to wire it up. All right, so here you have sensor bracket mounted um if you look just give it kind of like 30 thou 40 thou of an inch all right you can put some feeler gauges in there that one's probably like 50 thou and that'll still be fine um basically you run the wire get it out and over and then just bring it inside of the car i'm gonna set that up i'll do the uh terminal and then i will get back to the wiring I pretty much just gonna put the brakes back together now all right back at it one more time uh, just to show you the wiring uh, brown is gonna be power blue will be ground so I just went right to my OBD 2a connector and then uh, signal is going to be the black wire so power ground signal um, pretty much just solder these connections and tape them up So now uh, we have all the connections made. Uh, you know, on the back of the box, you'll see the uh, paperwork, but your brown wire is power, your blue wire is ground, and your black wire is signal. It's not common automotive colors because these sensors come, you know, pretty much set up with these three colors. But nonetheless, it's all set up. And if you did it right, um, what you want to do is disconnect your your speed sensor from your transmission, whether it be K series, B series. This is obviously a B series EK 1996. I set it all up, um, you know, on his OBD2 side. And then if you if you spin the wheel, spin that wheel for me. You'll see the mile an hour come up. You know you did your job. Good job. All right, so if you guys have any questions, any concerns, um, you know, let us know. Uh, hopefully this, uh, this video helps shed some light on the speed sensor um, installation. Thank you guys for watching.